Hello, welcome to Level Up Books. So I am very excited to share this book with you today. Today we are going to review The Social Climbers Bible. This is one of my favorite reads of all time, specifically because it mentions a lot of things that I learned growing up in New York City and just are not common knowledge for people who don't know what social climbing is or how to social climb. So it has been in existence since 2014. That is the first publication date. And what makes this difference from other books in this level up space is that this is actually written by socialites. So it was written by Dirk Wittenborn and Jazz Johnson. Jazz Johnson is an heir to the famous Johnson & Johnson fortune. And Dirk Wittenborn happens to be her uncle. And so another sweet tale is that, uh, or element is that this is a family effort, which is fantastic, okay? Really concise, 296 pages. That includes uh, the foreword and some dedications and stuff like that. Um, and then I think there's a uh, foreword, all that type of stuff is in there. Um, really, really easy read, really great, you know, nightstand book for you to just take it a little bit every night. And so getting right into the content of the book, You'll notice that they seek to demystify social climbing. It's a dirty word, clout chasing, as we have seen recently in social media. And it really just says, hey, everybody wants to be in a better social situation and there's nothing wrong with that. It's something that they do as upper class people and it's something that you can do no matter where you are in society. Um, a great example that they give in the book is you know, if, if if Beyonce invites you to her house and it happens to be your mother's birthday, you know that you would cancel on your mom and go to Beyonce's house. Like you're out, okay? And so bringing that reality, you know, bringing that aspect to, in that example, to the space, it really lets you know that everybody wants to be in with the in crowd. Everybody wants to be in a position that is going to present them with the best lifestyle. And so the introduction gives you a history of social climbing and it removes a lot of the stigma through education. And so that is what you can experience in the first few chapters of the book. And one of the things that I like about the book is it's not really telling you about how to dress and how to do your hair and what wigs to buy and, and stuff like that and how to do your makeup, but more so it's embracing the hardcore social rules of society, the rules of engagement that are going to allow you to be in rooms with important people and influential people. Okay. So, um, Marrying into families who had things that money could not buy, all right? Often people think about high society in terms of money, but it does not always mean that money is what makes you a high society person. You could have a certain level of class, a certain level of accomplishments, connections. Um, one thing that I can think of right off the top of my head is if your um, father or grandfather or great-grandfather was the head of a university. So that is a prestigious title that may or may not make you a wealthy family, but you have a certain cachet to your lineage and your bloodline um, that is going to allow you to be in the room with other influential people. And so connections is the crooks of what this book is trying to explain to you. You must be around the right people. You must know how to be around the right people. And there's a lot of commentary on where the places, you know, where you can go to start your journey in social climbing. Um, a lot of people shy away from religion, but the church, the synagogue, the mosque are excellent places to social climb. Now, obviously, I wouldn't say just go there and be a whole heathen and, you know, just completely be a person who is not into the religion at all and just there for the connections, but it's a really good place to be. All right, so religion comes to mind. Um, another reminder, things like the priesthood, it can't be bought into. You cannot buy into every aspect of society. You may need to make connections with those people, be close to those people, but you're not going to be able to buy yourself into royalty. You may not even be able to get into the royal family. And this book is awesome because it tells you, hey, you don't have to. 
You just want to be somebody who has access. And that's the key word. That's the takeaway for me. The Social Climbers Bible teaches you and provides you steps and means on how to gain access to a different lifestyle that you may not have been born into. As the channel goes on, you'll see I may be able to articulate my words fairly well, but I was not born into high society. I'm sure you all know that. <laughs> um, and this is why I wanted to do this channel because I want to introduce resources to people who are looking to improve their lives. There's going to be a lot of financial books. There's going to be a lot of etiquette books. And it might be some funny, you know, things on the channel that just caught my eye. But I really want to share some practical tips and some practical information on different books that are not necessarily considered level up books because people are not understanding that improving your lifestyle is multifaceted and being able to communicate well is definitely one of those things that can improve your lifestyle okay so if you'd like to read more about the social climbers bible i will provide the link below so that you can click and purchase and you all have a very good week until i see you in the next book review Take care.